Welcome back to episode 3 of L.A. Noir and let's carry on. Buyer beware! Every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. We can see that, mate. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. I heard this is a Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think he hit the ground a bit hard on that side. No, not much there. This hand seems clean. Pretty clean, actually. What about this arm? This arm also seems very clean. Let's just put that down. Um, I've tried your face, sorry. What have we got in here? A bank of Arcadia. His name was C. Galetta. Apartment 5, South, South Broadway. Payments made. He made a lot of payments. Okay. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. No, no, checks your arm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pick that back up. I want to check your other pocket. All right, all right. Yes, there. it's a dead person. Oh, is there nothing there? I've already checked his arm. Um. Anything else I can check here? I've already checked that. Nope, don't want to check that again. Um, anything else that I can pick out? Dun 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 dun. Okay. Um, let's have a look around. Hmm. What's that? A gun. Fen Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Okay, right. That's oh, oh, what's that? Gun shell cases. Shell things. Look like 32s. Interesting. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. Which one? Take a statement. Where's one? Don't you people have anything better to do? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Thank you. Let's go. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Okay, thank you. 
I don't think you're cool. Oh, hello. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. What was the thing in his pocket? Um. Use to questions. Can I? Oh, we're on the right. Okay, I know that. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> well, I can't accuse her of lying because I have nothing to say that she wasn't. Wait, yeah, I do. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Um. Oh, I can't. Oh. Sorry. My mistake. Don't. I'm having a hard time believing that young lady. Oh. You want to be taken to a police cell? You're hardly any older than me. Don't you dare talk to me that way. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. Oh. I will take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Oh. Uh, I didn't go well. We have the murder weapon? But no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on it. We could trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate! Maintain the perimeter. That didn't go well. I need to start getting used to the controls on that. Right, let's go. Turn around. Don't you dare. Take the left here. Straight through the next intersection. Move, guys. We need to get past. What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Well, I'm new at this thing, aren't I? You don't offend me. Elder. Oh, sorry. Hello. Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. 
Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Okay, let's go to Broadway. Broadway jewelry store. But it's not good there. It's called something jewelry store. It's called Hartfield jewelry store. In South Broadway. Let's go. Beep beep. Move out my way. Should be here. Go inside. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Mm. Yeah, I can see that, mate. Kalu! Get back here! There he is, officer! Tears all around, dog. Whoa! What the hell? Fire! Come on! Oh! Oops! I didn't know I couldn't shoot him and injure him. Whoops! Let's try. Officer Cole Phelps. Oh. Are you Edgar Kalu? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Some reason I don't believe that. Come on. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! I'm going. Hurry, officer. Hi! Yeah, I know, you said a minute ago. Kalu! Get back here! Yeah, you idiot. That's one heck of a Sunday. When the hell is the food gonna arrive? Next over? time, you're mine. I'm gonna have to shoot. Too late, Kalu! My father says I'll never be an actress. Oh, stop me! 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 Oh, I shoot earlier and he didn't do anything. Yeah, serious. Edgar Kalu! You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage! The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. <laughs> the case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I'll try not to. Not saying I'm amazing, I'm crap. Thank you. 
Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Shooting Let's incident. talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You don't look like that's truthful. I don't know. Oh my god. I'll say doubt, but that's probably wrong. Lie, I don't really have anything. You blew a man out of a God's sake. Of grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff, and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. I've just got to keep my mouth shut <laughs> and watch you run around in circles. We're done. <gasps> Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Can I rest? No. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the John. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. That's a lie. Because... You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Um, yes I can because... Oh yeah. Can I? That. Gage For God's sake! But his death wasn't down to me. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. I'll be here Unless while. You keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! I'll be here while. Has my lawyer arrived yet? No! I see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Cole. Exactly. You shot a man dead in cold blood. <sighs> You're going to have to pay for that. It's a shooting incident. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. No. Ooh, let's look at that dash dash thing. In in evidence is key to it. Okay. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number zero one one three eight. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. That's it. You yes. gun clean and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you work. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Possible re religious motive? Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kulu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kulu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kulu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I have...
lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money. He owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm done with really? you. Really? Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Mm. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get in the back and down there! I need a confession! Yeah, I know. This is really hard. It's not the truth. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Yes, you are. Right, so, in Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. You had the gun cleaned yes. and bought a new box of ammunition. I that earlier. The store owner remembers you and where you work. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I took my notes. Uh, for Paul, Aaron, and... I swear it was that, but it's not. I doubt him. Yes! Left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. Yay! I respect your beliefs. And your oh, beliefs. Fucking me. I hope for your sake. Jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Face bomb. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Ow. To your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Okie dokie. So, I passed! Yay! I did it! So I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe to become awesome. And an awesome note. And all that. And leave a comment.